Welcome back, you filthy exiles. All right, so I finally got some time to actually spend on the league mechanic, and I gotta say, while the person who thought of this was pretty smart, it is definitely not a league mechanic that is made for the um, the Joe Blow player, um, and I can understand why a lot of people are deterred by this. So the uh, and it's quite fun once you actually figure out how it works, but it's a time commitment and can be difficult. Hence why I'm going to make these videos. Um, so basically, this is going to be four parts, and the reason why I say four parts is we're going to split this down into the simplest plus possible explanation and break the farm into four key segments. So basically, I went on and I found another guy who had posted up Dollar Akshay, who had posted up his um, his farm design. And, uh, and he'd actually did a, a Maya, Maya Plays um, actually did a video on this, but he's done it all in one, which is, yeah, he's done a good job with the video. But I think that we can make this simpler um, and much more approachable. So the design we're going to use is this design here. Now, this looks like a lot of shit going on on the screen right now. And when I first looked at it, I was like, what the fuck am I looking at? Anyway. This can be made much simpler, and I have done that. And so, if we look at this one here, this is broken down into four key areas. You might not be able to see these absolutely perfectly on the screen that I've got up. But basically, we build our farm in four key areas. So, our starting point where we are standing right now, that, and I'll just find that image file. Boop, boop, boop. That is here, so this is our waypoint, right? This is gonna be where our seed pod cache is, which is, you know, right here, stockpile, and there's Oshabi, or Oshabi, whatever you wanna call it. Anyway, so the next part of how we build our farm is where we start from. And so, because this is four parts, there's going to be four parts of this video. So we're gonna build this one part at a time per video and we're going to make this as quick and easy to follow as possible. So the first part we're going to focus on is part one here. We're going to build the blue part of the farm. Um, as you can see, uh, if you can see that, basically anything with S is storage, anything with anything with P on it is a pylon. So just to define that further, in our seed stock we have our primal life force connectors, uh, collectors which collect the seeds, you put your seeds around them, bam, easy enough. Then you have pylons and pylons link everything. Then you'll have dispersers and we won't talk about dispersers yet. We're in the first in the first three parts of this, there's one, two, and three. And let's go blue, yellow, and purple, or violet, whatever we want to call that. We're not going to talk about dispersers at all. We do not need to worry about that until we get to part four, and that will be its own video, and then we will talk about that. Anyway, let's ignore dispersers, let's ignore horticulture stations for now. So we're simply going to focus on storage tanks, pylons, and life force connect collectors. So I'll put a link to that uh, file as well, and also a link to the original file and the original video that I took this from um, to credit those, those individuals as well. Um, so the next part we need to establish is, okay, so we know what each of those, those things are. Now, how do we build how do we start to build this blue area? That's the first question we need to ask here. The next question is, in order to build this blue area, where do we start? And we could start anywhere, but let's, let's look at this logically. We wanna start at a point where everything intersects and everything is in one spot. And that is right here. As you can see, there are three pylons for each of the individual life force collectors coming from each area. Basically, what we wanna do is we wanna start here and I'll show you exactly how we do that. So we're going to make sure that we've got our inventory full of all the shit that we need to build with because this is like a Bob the Builder um, game mode. Uh, it's definitely not my favorite, but you know what? We're gonna get through this together. Um, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go and we're going to come up to up to the very top of the map, up to the so your waypoints down here. You want to come up to the top of the map up here, right? And what we're going to do is place three pylons right across the stairs. 
one next to each other, nothing more complicated than that. This is how we start our farm. This is where, this is our anchor point to all four parts of our farm. So this is our very first, very first step that we're gonna do, we're gonna build this. All right, so let's bring, bring back the diagram. So the next thing, we've built, we've, built our three we've built our three pylons, as we can see here, we've built these three pylons, right? So the next part, we're building the blue part of the farm, so we're gonna follow the blue line. And what the blue line is telling us is we need to build, now pay no attention to the number of these pylons, we can build as many fucking pylons as we like. This, this is obviously, you know, they've done spacing or whatever, and that's fantastic, but you know, we're not gonna get that accurate. We just wanna get a farm that works so we can start farming T2 and T3 and T4 seeds. Um, okay, so the first, first part in building the blue part of the farm is we need to build all the way down. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna get some pylons and we're gonna follow this down. So basically, we wanna go down and connect these as we go, down, down. All right, that gets us to the first part of, of our blue, blue farm building. All right, so now we're here. So, okay, now we need to get a pylon across, pylons all across here, and the reason why is you can only have four links to a single pylon. So this here, th this is indicating a more complex setup. We're actually gonna shave that last storage container off uh, and we're only gonna build two storage containers here to really make this simple. So the next step is we're going to build our storage. So we'll do that now. So we'll take our pylons and let's build it across the stairs. And now we pretty much wanna go, we, I think we can just hold shift, which we can. And we're going to do that, all right. So now we're going to link up all of our all of our pylons. I'll just get rid of that because that, I've obviously already had a farm here. All right. So we've got all our pylons linked up. We're good. So the next thing we're gonna do now is build our storage tanks. So I've already got storage tanks here, which I've been hoarding. So we're gonna build these two at a time. And as you can see, they line up with the pylons perfectly because everything, it looks like it's been set up in a very specific way. So. standing in the way. Make sure your fat ass isn't in the way or one of your minions isn't in the way. All right, so we've built all of our storage containers. Now, as you can see, I've already been collecting um, life force and the life force is to feed the dispersers in part four of this. So we'll talk about life force in part four. Anyway, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to then link up all of our storage tanks to our pylons, which is a bit of a pain in the royal ass. Okay, so as you can see, all of this is now, this is blue. This is all lit blue, which indicates that this is blue life force, or primal life force, whatever the hell you want to call it. Blue life, for, life force. All right, so let's look at our diagram again. So now we're saying, okay, we've got an, we had actually had an extra one that we should have factored in here, but we're not gonna do that because we're too gangster and we don't need to worry about that. Um, we can link on one more on here. Actually, we can't, we, we effed up already. Um, so the next thing we're gonna do, can we link it? Yeah, we can link another one on, I think. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna chuck a pylon down here. No, we're at maximum pylons. So we'll put another pylon here. We will decouple that, we'll link that in there, link that there, and link that there, okay? So that's just so that we can link our 
um, primal life force connect, uh, collectors. So that then what we'll do is we'll set our seat collectors down. So we want to try and maximize our spacing down here so we can fit three. So as you can see, we've got three and that's not ideal. So this is not perfect, but you know, we don't live in a perfect world. So the next thing that we're going to do is put another um, pylon down here. We're going to link these two and then we're going to link these to our seed armor bobs. So that should, that's not going to reach. And we don't want to impede our, our seed area because then that will minimize the number of seeds that we can run. So we're just doing a bit of makeshift building here. Okay. And that's our blue area done. Now we just drop our seeds. So we'll go and we've got seeds. We'll drop our seeds down, our T1 seeds. Done. All right. That's our entire blue, that's our blue column lined up and built. That's the first part. And there we go. That's part one. Um, all right. So that's the blue sector built. I'm going to do part two straight after this one. And I'll show you how to build the yellow sector. Then we're going to build the purple sector. And then we're going to do the hard one. So until part two, um, I'll see you then.